I'm wanting to go for the arm lock again, okay? So I've set up my S mount, okay? No matter if I have the grip or not, I'm here. I bring this leg up high and I set up my S mount, okay? So I'm like this. Now, I want this arm. This is the arm I'm set up for, okay? But he's mechanical locked. He's already like ahead of me here. And for me to, to dig this and do all this work, you know, I've showed y'all some ways you can do that. But if I want to bypass all that, okay, no problem. This hand is going to come under here, right across the face. Not comfortable for Clay if he tries to use his face to fight it, okay? Under here, like this. And when I grab this arm here, this elbow, this is very important. If you don't do this, they're just going to switch their arms around. This arm bites down on his arm, so it stays here. He, did, he made the decision to protect this arm here, okay? So we're gonna make him stay true to that, okay? This is trapped now, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do, post, and I'm just gonna switch. All my weight's still on, I'm gonna switch here to there, okay? Heels come back, pulling in, squeezing the thighs together. By the time he could come up to reach and get this, I'm gone. Here, okay? Grab the meaty part right under the thumb, coming back. Pull the heels, squeeze the thighs. People forget one or the other a lot of times. Pull the heels, squeeze the thighs, easy on. Okay. Whether you went four fingers in the collar here and you're trying to set up this choke, which is really good. Okay, I'll post over here, up, S mount, okay? I want this arm, he's just making it difficult. I can keep this collar grip for now because at any time, I can start trying to set up a choke. You know, if he's really focusing on his arms and I can sneak a choke in, okay? Want the arm, it's not there. This hand, I like to do this just because it saves your fingers. And do this, slide under here, right there. Grab right above the elbow here. Bite down with the elbow, trapping the other arm. Okay? You can keep the, if you can balance, you can keep this collar grip and go over, which can put a lot of pressure you know, on the neck as I come around as well. Most of the time, though, they're going to be going crazy right here. Trying to get you know get you to roll off, so it's fine just to let go and post here. Okay, now I'm not taking my weight off of him at all. I'm just shifting my weight. I'm squeezing my thighs together here. There, bite in, squeeze. We've got this trap. Grab here, coming back, easy tap. The whole thing, my arm locks. Okay, see his shoulders up. More leverage. Okay. That's why I pull him to me and sweep. It gets his shoulder up here, okay? If I don't pull him to me, if I kind of push him down, he gets his shoulder down. Now, the leverage is in his grip, okay? When I pull it to me, look at The leverage just got bigger, okay? Okay, so they think they're good. The mechanical lock, even if they get all the way out, try to get under your leg even. The hand's under your leg. It doesn't matter. We just fish through. Peel it off, spin to the other side, okay? If they so happen to get their arm loose, and mechanical lock the other way. It's fine. Stop what you're doing. Fish through the other side. Spin the other way. Okay? You can do it all day. Eventually, though, make sure they don't get their arm free. Arm lock. Okay? Questions?